no one has been paid COBO by NPC as in the name of subsidy. That means uh, no marketer has received money from us by way of subsidy. What has been happening is that we've been importing PMS, landing at a certain price, at a cost price, and government is telling us to sell it at half price. So the delta between that landed price and the half price is what we call shortfall, or we call it subsidy. And the deal is between Federation and ourselves to reconcile and sometimes they give us money, sometimes we do net up. So there is no money exchanging hands to any marketer or anybody in the, way, in the name of subsidy. 2023 highlights. We had a 23.9 trillion naira revenue or turnover, which resulted in a gross profit of 7 trillion, a net operating profit of 4.3 trillion and profits before tax of 5.9. Consequently, we ended the year with 3.297 trillion naira as profit after tax. We do have enough barriers to satisfy domestic refineries as long as they can produce PMS for Nigerians to consume. So we do not have to import. Okay, so that is the CFO, Chief Financial Officer of the NNPC. So I'm trying to understand what he's saying in one fell swoop. So subsidy is basically the government paying so that you can buy fuel at a cheaper price. That's what subsidy is. So if the NNPC has imported fuel and government says, reduce the price so that people can afford it, but I'll give you the money. How is that not subsidy? Okay, maybe the economists will explain that to me. But let me bring in my guests who may be able to profile and give me an understanding as well. Dachong Dach Bagos is a former lawmaker who represented just south, just east federal constituency. He joins us from our Abuja studio. Uh, Mr. Dachong, honorable, I know you're laughing, uh, but help me understand the explanation. Maybe it's an economic term that lay people may not understand. So what do you make of the NNPCL's CFO before we get to the issue of scarcity itself? Yeah, well, uh, Joffrey, you, you rightly said an economist and I'm a politician, but let me come from the political point of view uh, in the first instance, that as a politician, uh, when we did the PIA, um, uh, we made NNPC to be uh, a private company uh, with the federal government having the highest shares. Uh, so that is the first instance we need to understand that NNPC is a private, uh, it's a company as it stands today. And with the terminology that you understand from what the CFO, want, and I want to speak from a patriotic point of view, that this is a company that we have as Nigerians. How is it working? How can we make it work? So if I want to take from the point of view that the CFO have just made mention is that they are not paying subsidy again to private individuals, to the cabals that uh, used to operate within the industry. So this is a company with, Niger with, 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 with the Nigerian government highest, having the high, uh, uh, high, highest number of shares. So they are now saying that, look, this is a Nigerian company that we want you to give Nigerians uh, PMS at a certain price, we take the body. So whatsoever that terminology will be either it's subsidy or either it's, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a fallback or whatever terminology. But the major thing that we as Nigerians have been crying about the, the, the previous Wealth subsidies that these monies have been going to private individuals. So if this is now handled by government, is a deal between government and NNPC, which is a company, then further explanation needs to come into play. And being patriotic on this uh, very matter again, uh, uh, Geoffrey, it's knowing very well what are the do's and don'ts. 
And this is where legislation needs to come into place again. Uh, uh, Nigeria needs to have uh, a, a subsidy bill. Uh, some other countries have it. The UK has a subsidy bill. Uh, the US have. So a subsidy bill in the sense that it's going to be a legislation to guide the federal government. This is where subsidy is needed. If it is subsidy, this is what you need to subsidize. Is it, are you subsidizing in the oil sector? What are you subsidizing? Uh, this is what the law says in subsidizing this. Are you subsidizing in agriculture? Are you subsidizing in health? Are you subsidizing? So we need to guide the federal government in taking this issue of subsidy uh, at all different levels or whatsoever interventions. But the major issue is that Federal government needs to intervene in various quarters in terms of uh, reaching out to the Nigerian people. So if it's trying to intervene within the oil sector by, uh, uh, by paying half the price of the landing costs like this here, so be it. But we want to know as Nigerians, so which is where the transparency that many people are asking and, and for what the CFO have just said, I'm happy to hear from him that no money is going to cabal. And again, I'm excited to the fact that this is one of the major period, the exciting period that I'm seeing that this company is now making profit. So if NNPC is making profit, which is a very good deal for us as Nigerians. So how can we channel the profit? What is it as people? It's, it's now a company. It now shows that it's a reliable company for investors to invest into. So going forward, the possible solutions is that, do NNPC need more investors into the company so that uh, uh, Nigerians in general, as I'm sitting, right. I will get dividends, yeah, my, uh, my dividend from investing into NNPC. So right, NNPC honorable. needs to go into the stock market, needs to do a lot of, because it's now a private company. So more legislation needs to come into place in terms of subsidy, more uh, information again needs to get into now so that uh, the perception that subsidy is being paid to private individuals needs to clear the air, just like the CFO has right. been able to do so. But like I said, I want to be patriotic on this very matter as a Nigerian, that this is a Nigerian company that we want it to work. Absolutely. We all want it to work. But the reality is that people are securing on the streets of Lagos and Abuja looking for fear, and that has to do yeah. with the failure or the success of the NMPC, uh, which I want you to speak to as well uh, before we move to other issues, because they've declared a 3.3 trillion naira. They declared 2.2 last year. They won't look at the operating margin, what is called operating margin in economics compared to their other counterpart. Um, it's not yeah. quite commendable. And as well, uh, they are also in debt to some billions of dollars. Uh, and they are saying they, these are the monies they owe creditors and it's a timeline. So there's a financial conversation yeah. that is quite difficult. There's also the issue of the fee stock that is also a challenge because in the uh, PSC uh, uh, sharing formula that we have, we also have a challenge in that. I don't want to go to the detail because it's a, it's a bit of a complex conversation. But in basics, how much more do you expect from the NMPC here? Because as you've mentioned, people are worried about transparency. On one hand, you're hearing the one thing. On the other hand, you're hearing another. Yeah, well, um, from from what NNPC said, because of uh, as a result of the fuel queue, uh, they had talk, they talked about logistics, and and I still want to go ahead to profile solution, uh, Geoffrey. That if NNPC is talking about logistics, can federal government now give NNPC to go ahead? That look, the next profit uh, uh, that will be declared, can it now have its own channel? Of, of 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 sending its own products down different areas. If federal government cannot provide routes, if federal government cannot provide uh, rail or pipelines, can NNPC as a company now look at how with its own profit to look at look how can we be able to 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 bridge the gap? Because if logistics is the problem, as uh, as it earlier said. How can we now address the issues of logistics in terms of transporting transporting uh, uh, these products? In terms of not uh, uh, where in the twenty first century, for trucks to be queuing to get PMS, why can't we have 
pipelines, if pipelines will be vandalized, why can't we have the rail stations like you have uh, in Russia, Germany, and other uh, uh, developed countries that can move these products to a to 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 destinations that can be uh, that, that the products can be gotten? So to be offering solution to to the NNPC challenge, it's what we need to come into play. So if logistics is one of the major problem that it said it has. Let's look at how federal government will be able to give NNPC the go-ahead look. This time around, if you are declaring three uh, three trillion uh, naira as profit, what can three trillion naira or half of it look into addressing the issue of rail, addressing the issue of uh, pipelines, addressing the issue of uh, of road transportation? Uh, and so, so these are issues that look we, we shouldn't just sit and wait. Uh, for government to do everything. Honorable, honorable Dr. Chung, let me, let me come in here. This is a company that investors are coming into. So we need to find a way out of it. Like I said, I'm a politician. So talking from the political point of view is that, look, my people need this product. NNPC okay. as a politician, get this thing down to my people. Can you now do, if gov can you have your own rail from the... Uh, from the, 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 uh, if, if, I, if I may come in, at the end of the day, that is the aspiration. But I doubt if NNPC has money for CAPEX, capital expenditure, because as we speak, even with the declaration of that profit for 2023, I know they are still seeking some loans, and which some experts are speculating that those loans are, are meant to use to pay debts. And when you look at the interest on those loans, as well as what they call uh, risk premium that comes about 5%, 6% in total, it's still a cycle. That is why transparency is important. But let's move on yeah, from yeah, precursors. And I, think, and I think it's because of the pressure that we have put on the LNPC as one of the major sole uh, source of income into the federation. Because like now, uh, what is the government doing in looking at the non-oil sector? Uh, because once we are so burdened in one uh, axis, that's the, the major problem that we'll be having. That uh, what is what are we? How is the non-oil sector? And once we have the non-oil sector working to be able to reject the economy, uh, we'll be able to look at uh, to diversify. Because if NNPC is the major sustainable avenue into the federation account. I can tell you, no matter how many barrels that we are looking at, we we'll always have a problem. So okay. let's look okay. at how we can diversify.